I think I hooked up with him once. And they're like, what? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so confused. <gasps> Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Academic Adventures. So today we are having Cedric's prom, but first we're going to visit Alice May and William. Alice May has not been in, ep in an episode for a while, but we are going to have them do a stay over with all of the teen group. They're all coming later this evening. It is a Friday. It is the day before Cedric's prom, um, but before they have the stay over with all of our regular teen group that we haven't seen for a long time, Alice May and William, I'm gonna bring William here too, are stopping by Candace to visit her. I think originally Alice May was just like, oh, I'll, I'll like, I'm coming to stay over, but I wanna stop by and hang out with Candace, make sure she's okay. Because as we saw in the last episode, her mom just, oh my God, is there a fire? Oh my, oh my God, oh my God, wait, someone put her out, extinguish, please, please. You are my hero. I promise I won't forget that I owe my life to your heroic actions. Is this new? <gasps> oh my God, fire department, thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> I was not expecting that to happen when we first got here. <laughs> um, okay. Anyway. Hey, Naya. Oh my God, okay, Benji is here too. Naya is just stopping by and was around. Is Naya not traumatized by fires now? I feel like she would be. Just do a quick hello to Naya. Oh my God, wait, William's already talking to Kanda. She's tense, probably from the fire. Um, But anyway, so I feel like Alice May was deep conversation. Um, I feel like William, after Alice May was like, oh yeah, I was gonna stop by Kanda, make sure she's okay. William was like, oh, I'll go too. Now we're all chatting. Naya's very cheerful, that's good. The roommate are a little bit tense from the house fire, which is perfectly understandable. Oh, Kanda, you're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you and I hope you feel the same about me too. Um, so we're gonna ask to go inside. I know they just had a lot of craziness, but you know, Kanda is, I think, I mean, right now she's feeling tense from the fire. But the whole reason Alice Bay was here is uh, offer, offer a listening ear. Wait, that's so sweet. That's exactly what I want her to do. I guess they're going inside first and this is still all oh I can't change it oh no the house is just gonna be purple I can't change it because they had a party here last time we were here but Alice May is offering a listening ear to Kanda Kanda if you want to pet Benji because Ben oh he's howling right now if you want to pet Benji I promise Benji pets are like the best thing in the world you will love them offer gratitude to Kanda let's compliment house we like love the purple love the purple party atmosphere. Can William offer a listening ear? That might just be because Alice May is compassionate. Kanda is feeling happy, so that's good. It seems like she's doing pretty well. I feel like Kanda maybe being at, like, at university is kind of helping her get her mind off of things. She's not home, and I would imagine, I, I don't think the funeral would have happened yet, because I imagine, like, Alice May would offer to go. Um, maybe William, too. But as I mentioned, she's also not that close close with her sister, but she does have a nephew and she's pretty close with her in-law. So I don't know, maybe maybe they're kind of there for her sister. She doesn't really want to be around her sister. Maybe her sister's like kind of just being a lot right now. I mean, a lot has happened. Gossip, sure. And then, you know what? Maybe it's 7 a.m. right now. It's pretty early. Maybe we will invite Kanda. I think the rest of the friend group is coming over around six. Oh no, I think around 2 p.m. Um, so I think we'll invite Kanda over over maybe when we have all the group here. So it'll just be kind of like old times again. Um, and then Canada can come join, just them trying to help her get her mind off of everything. Um, and then after that, we will have Cedric's prom. So let me skip a couple hours. All right, the friends are gonna show up in about an hour. So I like to think that William did not change a thing in Alice May's bedroom. So when she came to visit, she could just like feel like home. And he knows that she missed out on 
being able to experience the rest of the university life. She got a little bit of it, which I'm sure was really, really nice for her. And she's really going to cherish those memories. But he wanted a place for her when she comes back to visit. So he didn't change a thing. I actually love everything about her room. I think I did show this in the previous episode, but like we have her gaming room and then we have her bedroom and they're all so, so cute. I love it so much. But yeah, the friends are going to be showing up in about an hour. You guys will see. I'm going to fast forward a little bit, but I did end up inviting like everybody, including Molly Grace and Graham. I said in the last episode that I didn't think that Molly Grace would be able to get away, but all of the friends are going to be here, so I think she tried really hard to be able to go. Okay, so our stayover has become for, or begun. The first one to arrive is Jessica. She's got her luggage. William and Alice may go say hi to Jessica. Tell a joke about Sunset Valley. Welcome, Lady Jessica. Oh my god, I love this feature so much. So Jessica is the first to arrive. Benji has zoomies. Who else is going to be here? I mean, I literally invited everyone, like Malia, Caspian, everyone. I know I was debating it in the last episode, but I think it'd be really sweet because we haven't seen them together in a long time and we're about to have a time skip soon. So this might be the only time we'll see them all together before that six year time skip. Oh my gosh, Prince Cedric is calling to chat. Do you want to answer yes? Is he nervous about prom and wants to call his sister? Also, William the heartbreak thing, I think William William is telling Jessica all about the breakup with JC. I, I definitely think that's happening. I love the fact that Cedric just called. I feel like he's a little bit nervous before prom. Alice Bay is like asking him all the details. I don't know how much Cedric would have told her about the whole Colin situation. I feel like he probably would not have told her that he's going to prom with Colin. I wonder, I feel like Colin would have wanted to like meet would have maybe like pushed to meet Cedric at the palace, take pictures. I don't think Cedric wanted to do that. So he just kind of like wants to meet their group because they all have like the housing stuff. And so he's like, no, I'll just meet you guys there. It's fine. I'm sure Jabari too wanted to be there to like take pictures and kind of see Cedric like his first day of prom. But I feel like Cedric was like, no, it's okay. Like you have stuff to do. Don't worry about it. He doesn't want his sister. He doesn't want his dad to see that he's going to prom with Colin. All right, so literally nobody else was Oh no, there he is, Frederick, yes. I started a group gathering because no one else was showing up except for Jessica. Oh my God, I bet Willie was so excited to see Frederick. Welcome, Frederick. Alice May, welcome, Frederick. I'm sure Alice May and Frederick have seen each other maybe a good amount. Nani is here. This is so much fun. I love this. I love being able to just like see them all arrive with their luggage. Okay, go welcome Nani. This is so much fun. I really feel like it's been forever since the group has been able to be together. And then Molly Grace is here to stay over again. She doesn't have her suitcase, but we're welcoming Princess Molly Grace. I was thinking like maybe they could have a little hangout. Oh, there's Graham. Um, that maybe they could have a little hangout here, but I think it'd be more fun if they go out. William, why do you and Graham not get along? What is this? We need to work on your relationship during this stay over. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, but yes, I think we're gonna go out. We're still waiting on Malia. I think I just saw Alice May trip. I don't know if y'all saw that, but okay, a little fill in here. So can I control her if she's a stay over guest? I don't think I can. We're gonna have a deep personal conversation. Ask how things have been since they got engaged. So Alice May at her birthday party, Molly Grace and Graham were there. I know things have kind of been separate with the main series and this series, but Molly Grace and Graham, they reconciled, they got back together and Graham proposed so he can kind of like show that he is all in. So they are having a really long engagement, like a six year engagement. They're not getting married until season three of the main royal family series. But yeah, just, just that's the little update that y'all missed between here. So Malia's here, so let's all travel to the bar now. I think it's a good time. It is Friday evening. They're just getting their group of friends and going to go hang out. They're all really excited. We're gonna go to this Brightchester pub. Um, so those of you who saw the other, the royal, the what, oh, what was it? The royal twin siblings adventures. <laughs> saw that Charles and them were here. So yes, we're going to go there. All right, so they're all at the pub at the university. I'm going to have Alice May invite Kanda to come out with them. Just again, to try to get her mind off of things. So we're going to invite to hang out on current lots. Then it looks like all of our teens just ran in. It's so nice to see them all 
all together again. Oh, they're all just helping themselves. I didn't even have to tell them anything. It looks like there is a happy hour special and they're all just helping themselves. That's fine. Okay, so we are going to see, let's see, I think Kanda will be right over. So there are going to be some other people here. So yes, Finn is going to be here to keep his eye on everyone, especially Alice May. I mean, it's honestly, I don't, I can't imagine the last time Alice May went out to have fun. So she's probably really enjoying this. She's only going to be here for like a day. Oh, Kanda is here. It looks like Kanda is also still tense. Oh my gosh, Alice May, what is this? What is this? What is this? Did you just give him a letter? Wait, what is the, wait, give, Alice May just gave Caspian 2,000 simoleons. I'm so confused. Okay, we're just, we're just gonna go past that. What was that? You literally just, I, I, okay, well, I don't understand. Oh my gosh, Alice May, Caspian, you guys are so cute. Rosalind, hi, hello, you're just here. I think you're, are you a fan? Oh my gosh, she is, she's a fa okay. All right, y'all, we need Anthony Finnegan. We need you to do your job and kind of keep people away. Should I put Alice May in a disguise again? That seemed to work last time. I'll think about it, maybe. Um, also, some updates. So Frederick and Jessica, I, did I say what they were all doing? Frederick has been doing his royal duties at home. Um, Jessica has been doing like some etiquette classes and she's been doing other classes, but not, she didn't want to go to university for them. Nani has been helping their family with some of their royal duties as well. Lady Cannon and William just became good friends. I feel like they're really bonding because like of Alice Bay, like they really connected because Alice Bay was here and they're just like really hitting it off. But y'all already know what Molly Grace and Graham are doing. Graham's University, Molly Grace is at dance school. Nani, again, has, yeah, has been helping their family with like the royal duties and stuff. Very, very involved. Um, Malia, I feel like it has been taking maybe some online courses, but Malia, and Nani, they've kind of like maybe talked about the marriage thing, but they're really young. So like all of them are still pretty, oh, that bartender is breaking glasses everywhere, but um, they're all still pretty young. They're like, what, 19, 20? So yes, Molly, Grace, and Graham, they already got engaged. That's just kind of what worked for them. Everyone's different. Nani, Malia, not ready for marriage yet. Jessica and Frederick, not ready for marriage yet, but they might be eventually in like season three, in like six years. So we'll, we'll see all of that later. Same thing with Alice May and Caspian. Okay, but since they're all here, I feel like, of course, you know, the topic of Kaleo would come up. So let's do some gossiping. Yeah, let, let's just do some gossiping. Kind of just like things they've heard of Kaleo. Oh my God, is this the guy that Molly Grace was flirting with that one time? <gasps> oh my God, is there some tea? He's, look at her, look at him. Look at him staring at her. And now she's engaged. Oh, okay, dude, you gotta go. You gotta go, this is a little creepy. Just go away, everyone just go away. Caspian is doing pushups, he's ready to square up. Okay, so I'm having William ask Frederick about Kaleo. Honestly, I don't really like Riz's Kaleo. So Kaleo during this time skip, well, he's been going to therapy. Not that the public would really know that necessarily, but um, he's been going to therapy. He's been trying to get more involved in some organization. So maybe that's kind of what they're talking about is they, they've seen him kind of a bit in the papers. Like it looks like he's kind of trying to avoid the papers, but just they've seen that he's like volunteering for things. And, and doing things so they're like, I don't know, maybe he's like, you know, working on himself. That's good, I guess, whatever. But then I, uh, what if Kanda is like, oh, who are we talking about? And they're like, oh, just this guy we used to be friends with. And they like say his name and Kanda's like, oh, I think I hooked up with him once. <laughs> Why is Danny Street on here? <laughs> yeah, okay, Kanda's like, I think I hooked up with him once. And they're like, what? <laughs> I need to add her to the family. I need her to like spill this tea. William's walking away. He's like, wait, what? Hold on, okay, gossip. Wait, okay, so now what if William asks Kanda about Kaleo? What will she say? He's like, wait, you did what with who? Yeah, wait, Alice May, you need to hear this too. What, everyone needs to hear. I feel like everyone would just be standing there stunned. Okay, all right, he's asking her, he's asking her. What is she gonna say? Oh, oh, thumbs up, oh. <laughs> And it's like, I I mean, I don't know. He seemed fine. Why? They have like barely a relationship. <laughs> also the relationship with her ex Mana isn't here anymore. It should be here. I need to re-edit that. Um, but now they're all like looking at her like, 
what? Where's everyone else? Y'all have to hear this. Graham heard this. Graham is like, wait, where is everybody? Wait, Molly Grace, Jessica, you're going, you need to hear this tea. You need to hear, th where are they? Okay, so anyway, I feel like Alice, like Ken is like, why, what's wrong with him? So now Alice May and every, I feel like Alice May might not be chiming in as much, but everyone else is kind of telling her about him. So now Kanda is kind of being filled in. We're just gonna have them all just gossip, fill her in on all of the tea. I'm so curious how like everyone feels. I mean, it's not like, can't, it's, it's, I don't think any of them are like, it's a big deal because Kanda doesn't know him. She doesn't know what he did. She, she's like literally just meeting some of them for the first time and this is what they're finding out. What is happening? Graham is like losing relationships with everybody. Oh my God, they're hugging. I'm actually kind of surprised William doesn't seem to care all that much. I mean, William, okay, to be fair, William can't really talk much. I mean, he like slept with Ember and that whole thing with Minerva happened. So maybe he's like coming from an angle of maturity, like, you know what, fine, whatever. <laughs> That's weird. Um, that it's like one of my ex best friends and that, yeah, that's weird, but oh well, I guess. Okay, as much as I would love to hang out with the teens, or they're not teens anymore, that's so weird. As much as I would like to hang out with this group, I absolutely love them. We do, oh my God, JC's here. Well, now I can't leave, wait. <gasps> JC. Oh my God, do we say hi? Do we say hi? They're still kind of friends. Oh my God. Intri I don't, how do I just say hi to you? Um, he oh, don't join household. What do I do? What do, what do, what do, what do you, what do you do? What do you do in this situation when your ex walks in? Um, funny? Make a joke. Make a joke about how awkward this is. Do a knock knock joke, William. You're a little bit socially awkward. Oh my god, this is literally the first time some of them are meeting JC. This is really awkward. I'm so confused. I don't- Why is he always bored? JC, does nothing entertain you? Oh my god. Oh my god, Frederick, did you just fart? Frederick knows that they, I mean, things, it really, it was more of like a mutual breakup, but I kind of like the idea that Frederick like knows that Jay-Z isn't all that great, like just cause he is so like mean to children. <laughs> he doesn't really necessarily know that, but I just think it's funny because Frederick like, if he doesn't like Jay-Z and just like farted in his direction. <laughs> well, okay, let's, I think this is good. We've, we've seen them, we got some tea, some gossip going and now, we are going to go to Cedric's prom. Okay, we are officially at Cedric's prom and Cedric is angry from feeling furious with somebody nearby. Could that be his prom date? This is going to be very interesting. All right, this is our prom venue. Again, Cedric is angry. Um, I'm hoping all the teens end up showing up. It looks like we do have two chaperones. Oh my God, the, oh, the place. Playful banter. Okay, so here's the tea. Nora and Cassidy, they came to prom as friends, but I think they have crushes on each other. So we're gonna see if that becomes anything more. They're like play fighting right now, which I think is very cute. They're being a little flirty, I feel like. Um, Itaro is here with Sissy. Sissy looks gorgeous. Um, so she is here at the prom. Cedric, why don't you go say hello to your cousin? She's thinking about Itaro right now, let's call her over. Okay, it looks like Sissy and Itaro are talking right now. I'm going to have them give a little kiss and then I'm so curious what happens with Nora and Cassidy. We will get to them in a second. Have them kiss Cheek. It looks like Shashi is talking to the chaperone and it looks like Tiffany is giving herself a pep talk in the mirror. Practice to bay, interesting, and then browse web. Okay, well, girl, you look awesome. So does Tiffany. We picked their dresses on a stream. We're going to have them vote. Ooh, vote for prom royalty. Who would they vote for? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, ooh, ooh, you know what would really, okay. So why are you sad? Interesting, oh my God, there's so much tea. Okay, so we saw kind of the tea with Chelsea, Tiffany, and Penny in the last episode. We have to make sure they're here. I need to add them if not, but, but here is Chelsea's ex, and he asked 
Penny to prom. He's got a crush on Penny. And Penny said no because she's friends with Chelsea. But I don't know. Maybe Chelsea is kind of pushing Penny over the edge because she's, you know, very bossy. Puts Penny down a lot. Doesn't want Penny to like overstep, get in her way, anything like that because she thinks she is like the queen, the leader, all of that. Where is Bahir? I tried to teleport him. Okay, cool. Bahir is here now. I'm going to have him vote for prom royalty. I'm gonna have him vote for Penny. I'm sure some people will vote for Chelsea too. I gotta have Cedric vote. He is feeling so enraged. Oh my gosh, are you? Okay, you and Colin are talking. Colin is feeling flirty right now, but I'm so curious because it's like, okay, he's clearly angry, but is Cedric showing that he's angry? We're gonna flirt, offer Rose. They're having a, a pleasant conversation, ask about day. Also, a little tea about Cedric. I don't know if it counts as tea, but a little secret about Cedric. So this suit, I imagine he designed himself. So it's it's not quite as like, I don't know. I, I kind of wanted something pink or purple, but it, it didn't come in pink or purple. So I, I probably could have recolored it, but um, I, I just, I think he's kind of easing into this a little bit. Why are they having an offensive conversation? What is going on? But he just accepted that rose. Y'all are so confusing. What is with the teenagers? Try to calm down. What is happening? What? Very angry. I'm not just some plant from being called a plant sim. Cedric, what are you doing? What is happening, literally? Oh my God, Cedric, this is your prom. You need to enjoy this. Like what? Oh my God. Oh my God. people what is with you i'm <laughs> i'm getting mad <laughs> i don't understand i don't understand tiffany vote for someone jesus get my mind off of this please sissy get your cousin okay it looks like itaro's placing in his vote but i didn't tell him to vote for oh he just voted oh i didn't tell him to vote for anyone so i have no idea who he voted for interesting Okay. Oh, Cassidy too. Cassidy's voting for someone. I didn't tell her to vote for anyone. Oh my God. Okay. So Cassidy and Nora, why don't y'all, okay, take a selfie. Oh my God. Attention everybody. We have the results of the winners for the prom court. <gasps> I'm happy to announce the following winners. Prom royalty, Penny. Prom jester, Cedric. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. <gasps> Wait, can they do, wait, I'm sorry. Do they get like crowned? Is that, is that a thing? Oh my God, she won. Penny's feeling flirty from swooning, swooning over crush and dreamy eyes. Okay, I think Chelsea's angry, still upset for Penny winning. I think she's going to shove her and throw her drink. Rant and rave. Oh my God, and denounce friendship. Chew out, denounce friendship. I feel like she's so mad that Penny won. Like Chelsea, I feel like won last year. This is like her thing. Oh my God, oh my God, Penny is like, what do I, what do I do? Do I, what am I, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my God, Penny is upset. Penny is so upset. Penny is slaying though. Look at her outfit, throw shade. I feel like Chelsea is just insulting her after insult, like just making her feel bad about herself because she's so upset. Did she just change? Oh! Oh my god! She just changed into her crown in front of her and started fist bumping. Their friendship, it was so... It was so... Oh! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god, that's all over her beautiful dress. She looks so stunning. And now she has a drink all over her. Good thing we can't actually see it, but like, oh my god. Everyone, everyone is literally like getting up. Like, um, do we do something? Chaperones, are you going to break this up? Are you going to do anything? They're having an abhorrent conversation. I love that like Colin and all of them are just kind of here for the tea. Like they're literally just here for the tea. Oh my God, they're fighting. Oh my God. Oh my God, are the chaperones gonna do anything? Oh my God, they're literally, the chaperones are not doing shit. Oh my God, the chaperones are just fine. The chaperones really don't do anything about fighting, do they? Oh my God, it's over. Oh my God, they now despise each other. <gasps> 
Oh my god, she's mortified. Wait, wait, wait. Did Penny? I think, okay, beaten up. Penny lost that fight. Chelsea's mortified. Stop looking at me from having a mood swing, but she won the fight. Growing apart pains from feeling bitter about someone nearby. Oh my god, this is insane. Oh no, y'all. It said prom complete. Wait, that was so short. <laughs> is Penny? Oh my god, wait. Let's keep this party going. Do you want to go to the after party? Okay. Wait, wasn't that one of the girls that Kaleo hooked up with? <laughs> She's one of the twins that just asked. That's crazy. Oh my God. Okay, we're all at the after party at the car. Oh my God, we're all hanging out here. Okay. Okay, I guess I guess we're doing this. This is not quite the party I was thinking of. Okay, so Lady Cassidy is feeling very flirty. So I guess while we're here, um, we'll finish up some things here. I still need to figure out what's going on with Cedric though. Okay, so now I'm going to have Cassidy. Where the heck did Nora go? I think I might have to tell teleport her back here, but where- <gasps> Cedric! Oh my god! Cedric! Where did- call Cedric! Colin! Drifting love from jealousy! Oh my god! What did he just do? Oh my god! Ced- Was this his- Wait, okay, hold on. Was this his plan the whole time? Because Cedric has been angry about Colin and we were so confused as to why. Or we weren't confused as to why, we know why. We know it's because of the whole Sterling situation, but we were like, why is Cedric still flirting with Colin and agreeing to go to prom with him and all of this stuff? Was this his plan the whole time is to get back at Colin? So when things were like serious between them, or he like let him on basically, and then kissed Davey. So he basically just used Davey to get back at Colin. So what, is he gonna break up with Colin now? Wait, were they dating? Break up? Oh my God. And how does Davey feel about this? Davey's tense. I feel like Davey is super uncomfortable because he's like, was I just used? He likes Cedric. Oh my God. Oh, I cannot imagine Davey's happy about this. Honestly, Davey, maybe he'll say something about, not mischief, mean arguments. Honestly, Davey's pretty quiet, but I feel like he's pretty upset about this. He's also social, socially awkward, feeling overwhelmed. I'm sure this is extremely overwhelming overwhelming. Oh my god. I, I don't even know what to say. Give the cold shoulder maybe? Like I, I can imagine Davy is so upset. Like he was just used basically. Maybe Cedric is like really trying to- <gasps> Oh my god. He's so- look at this. He's so upset and Cedric is like trying to apologize to him and like- <gasps> Oh my god. Did y'all see that? He was like trying to like make a joke and be happy and Davy is like no. Like, uh, no, I'm not talking to you. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm, y'all, that was such an Amira thing to do. Cedric just channeled Amira so much. And now I can imagine Davy like, just doesn't want to talk to him. Oh my God, okay. Okay, okay. I, you know what? Last thing, last thing. So Chelsea and Penny aren't friends anymore. But I wonder now, because Penny and Bahir have like serious crushes on each other. It says, oh, hold on, flirtation. Okay, flirt. So it says here, oh my gosh, it's like 7 a.m. She was furious with Bahir for asking her to prom, but they both have crushes on each other. So now that her and Chelsea aren't friends anymore, maybe she tries to like pursue Bahir because she does really like him. He's feeling flirty just by being next to her. Maybe he's like congratulating her. Oh, they're hugging. He's like congratulating her on winning prom royalty, saying how much she deserved it. She's taking a selfie. <laughs> and maybe he like embrace, maybe he like gives her a hug. Okay, so now they're super into each other. They've gone over here. Oh, and they're having their first kiss. <laughs> oh my God, what with the sunrise? Oh my goodness, by the water. Okay, and then maybe he asks Penny to be his girlfriend. And oh, and then Tiffany, is just here like oh Chelsea isn't gonna like I wonder whose side she's on I'm sure she doesn't like being bossed around by Chelsea either so I feel like she would kind of stick with Penny oh my god they're taking a selfie she said yes they're literally going to walk in on Monday together after this fight with Chelsea okay 
Well, I think we're gonna end this episode here. Okay, that was an insane episode. Um, so anyway, yeah, we saw the whole thing with William. They all kind of know now about Kanda and the Galeo, but it really, like, they didn't judge her for it. It wasn't that much of a big deal. I think they were just kind of thrown off. Um, but I think some time will have passed and I know Alice May won't be there anymore. Um, and like neither of the friends, they're all kind of leaving after this weekend, but I, William and Kanda were hitting it off so well. So maybe they just are, you know, friends now after all of this. Um, I do think William's kind of sworn off dating though. I think he's said that before, but um, just the whole thing with Jay-Z, him and Jay-Z just broke up. He just kind of wants to just chill out a bit, focus on school. Um, and then this, oh my, I don't even know where to begin with the drama of prom, but that was wild. And then uh, Davey's just not talking to Cedric anymore. Colin and Cedric are a mess too. Cedric, that was not cool. I love Cedric, but that was not cool. But man, did he channel Amira so much of that. He just reminded me so much of his mother during that. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button. Um, and I will have another episode coming out soon. Not sure how many more episodes of this series there will be, maybe like two or so. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!